What up, YouTube family, man? Welcome to Indicted to Invited. Indicted to Invited. Hope y'all liked it now. Before we get started, man, I want to thank uh, Vince Auto Help, man. Now, y'all heard me think of before. Come to find out this is my cousin. See what I mean by helping from afar? He was my cousin the whole time. I ain't even know it. Mr. Austin Smith for his donation. My man, Chemistry Russell, for his donation. And uh, one and he, Mr. Pablo Escobar once again. Thank y'all for y'all donations, man. And uh, like I said, no no amount is too small. Cash up upper left hand corner. Listen, man. Indicted to invite it, right? Now I gave y'all uh, indicted to invite it, man. I always talk about what to do and how prison was and how not to go. So this man today, man, you know, I got to keep it 100. I got to keep it 100 for all my people that's out there doing their thing. So today's topic, man, is the uh, drug dealer's guideline for success. So these are my, my personal guidelines on how to succeed in the streets. I had to do it for them too. I had to do it for them, too, because a lot of them guys come in on my page and blah, 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 and thank me, and you know what I mean? They're trying to find a way out. So these are my guidelines. If you're in the streets hustling, or you're doing anything illegal, right, whatever your hustle is, and whoever you're doing it with, right, man, try to do it without making phone calls. I don't care if you got to train some pigeons. You know what I mean? Or meet up at a certain area, you know, every day. If it's a bar or a lounge where y'all always meet, and that's where y'all talk at. You know what I'm saying? That's where y'all talk at. And that's it. Bruh, no communication. You know what I mean? If you do it, you want it to be where it ain't coming from your phone. It ain't coming from your phone. You want to leave it. You want a track record where uh, it's no communi communication with this person, right? And these are the things you need to do, right, on the street while you out here. You have to prepare for prison. That's the first thing you got to do. And I ain't saying manifest going to prison, but if you in the streets, man, it's an eighty-five percent chance, man, you're gonna go to prison. You have to prepare for prison. And the way you prepare for prison is you need to find two people that you can trust with some money. Right? You need to find two people that you can trust with some money. You know what I mean? Just for a secure blanket. You know, if you want to call and, hey, I need to put something on my books or whatever you're trying to do, right? You need to find two people that you can trust. And when you're in the streets hustling, there's no set amount of money that you need to get before you quit. You set a time. I'm going to do it for a year. I'm going to do it for six months. And whatever you, the money you made in that time, and that's just what it is. Right. And you need to have an out for that money. You just ain't hustling, you know, to buy nice shit or have on the Jordans every day. That ain't what you hustling for. You hustling in order to start a business. You know what I mean? And if you're not real intelligent with book wise and handling them business and all that, one of the easiest businesses that somebody can open up is a car wash. A car wash. Pay the water bill. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the easiest business somebody can open up. Right. Uh CDs. Put them in your mama name. Put stuff in your mama name like people you can really trust. Put a lot of stuff in your mama name. You know, y'all heard this before, but that works still to this day. Put a lot of stuff in your mama name. But to get CDs where you can put money in the bank and, and, it, and, it, ha and it, it, have a, it have a higher interest rate of growth on your money, you know, five years, six years, and you can't touch it. You know what I mean? But you got to prepare for prison, what I mean for that. Also, Right? You helping a lot of people out here with your money. You have to blackmail them and tell them you ain't giving them this money for nothing. 
you know, maybe not blackmailing, but you need to let them know there's, there's, there's something come with this favor I'm doing for you, right? You find you, because most of the time, bro, I ain't saying, you know, the females that you involved with, but most of the time they bounce, right? You need to find one female. It, it could be a guy that you just friends with. But I've, technically a female, because you need a female to do the, the technical stuff on the computer if you need something from the court. But you need to find a female like, look, I'm going to give you this money. You don't have to pay this money back. But if anything ever happened to me, this is what I'm going to need you to do. I'm going to need you to write letters, occasionally come and see me, and handle some little things in front of your computer for me. You got to have that when you go to prison. So you set all that up now. You find a person that's good with the computer and you set all that up now. You set it up now. Hey, how much your rent is, man? I'm gonna pay it. Oh, well, you gonna pay my rent? Like, what's, what's the catch? This the catch. If something ever happened to me, this is what I need you to do. This is what you owe me. I don't care how long I'm going. You know what I mean? And you take care of her. If you got it going on, give her $10,000 to pay her rent for the year. She'll never forget you. Don't just be just around here thinking it's going to be all sweet and you got it going on. Bro, they're going to take a lot of that when they bust you. They're going to look all into your shit. They're going to look into your family shit. I'm telling you to handle this shit right now. And one more thing you need to do, right? There's all this is just in case prison. Now, I don't know if y'all knew this, but most indictments last five years. And they stretch them out, like, you know, when the investigation started, when they started making arrests. So I say basically six and a half years. Six and a half years and you can stay gone. You can go on the run. If you know somebody got arrested and it's going down, you can get lost for about a good six and a half years and it'll be over with. And what you need to do now, you need to find outs, like port cities, you know what I mean? They got shipping. You need to know who you, who you can pay to be a castaway. You need passports. You know what I mean? Get your passport. If you need to go duck off and whatever, you need to find out all the countries that do not have extradition and stuff like that they can't, where they can't come and get you. And just go chill. I know it's a hard thing to do. You know what I mean? But all this is connected to you got to have certain people that you never called on your phone that you communicate with. You know what I mean? Because they're going to go through your phone, your whatever. They're going to dissect every name in there. Who is this? Who is this? How many times you call them? You want to have somebody that you can trust that's not in your phone, bro. No number, never called your phone. And you never come to, if you got to set up a whole nother dummy line, you don't even want that. You just want somebody that you can, that, you know, right now, like, listen, this is the plan. I ain't never calling you. And you never call me. Write me if you need to talk. Or I'll meet you at the such and such. But it got to be somebody to never call your number. That way, if you go on the run, you can always contact. You can, you know, they you can call them. And then they, they number ain't, they ain't going to be tapping all that if they're looking for you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to do that. You got to do that. Right? Now, check this out. Your plug. Never let the plug know who your family is. Every time, whenever you do business with your plug, it's always just you. Never bring them around like y'all cool. None of that, bro. Your plug, right? And I would say with him, but more than likely you can't pull it off with him as far as not communicating through off of your line. But everybody else, man, I'm telling you, bro, it got to be no communication. No type of communication. I, it's a lot of work, you know, to have a, a meeting spot and y'all talk there. It's a lot of work. Sometimes shit don't go right with the shipment or whatever. You need to discuss it. But everybody know you can't, you go there. You go there and you talk about it there. You know what I mean? You might can get off a little, a little cold Texas, you know, from another phone where they know it's time for you to meet or it's an emergency from right there, blah, they blah. You know what I mean? But all of that, I've just, that's just my, that's, that's just my way. This is how the feds get you. They get you through the phone, all through communications. That's all they can do. It's simple for them. They just want they just want to tap your shit. They just want to tap your shit. You know what I mean? Check this out. 
whatever lane you in as far as the, uh, the illegal activity, weed, cocaine, uh, fatty, or whatever it is you're doing, right? All right? You need to make sure, right, that the people that you're doing it with ain't reckless and ain't a hater. Like, you, a lot of times we don't know people be haters. Your main man next to you hating on you. You need to really assess your people. You got to test them. You know what I mean? You got to leave some shit or drop some shit in the, in the house one day. You know, a stack. Like, you know, like you drop, you got to man put everybody to a test and see who you can trust. You know what I mean? The people around you is the, the, the most important thing you can do because they the ones that are going to protect you and make sure you out here because they want to be out here too. So you got to be able to trust the people around you. So I say play little mind games and put them to the test. You got to do that. You got to do that, bro. You know what I mean? So, uh... And you have to travel. If you're making money, bro, go book a trip. You know what I mean? You want the best amenities when you go. You want the suite on the private floor. You know what I mean? You want to meet people that's doing, that's doing it just like you. And like I told you, I met people that was probably billionaires through my travels. I spend the money. I rather spend my money. Look, all the clothes and shit, all that is cool. Bro, but when spending the money saying you went here and went there and you experienced that, that's that's where your money that's that's worth spending. All that other shit ain't worth spending. Oh yeah, them nice. You know, you spend ten thousand for that. Oh okay, you spend too much. But when you tell somebody, man, I was in Turks and Caicos and I was in this and that, and then I was in, you know, I went to Jamaica and we was at the hedonism and we, on the, you know, we was on the all new resort. That's the shit that matter. That's the shit that matter. You know what I mean? Spend your money to get around the people who got money. You know what I mean? When you do that, you make and get some, you know, you got some money saved up. They may, you know, it might be somebody that can help you turn your, your half a million to 500 million. Got to travel, bro. That's the number one thing you got to do when you hustling. Right? And I don't even, you know why traveling is good? Because sometimes, man, you ever took a vacation and a lot of shit happened while you was gone in the streets. And you be like, damn, I'm glad I missed that. You got it, man. You got to just get out the way. You just can't stay in the way all the time. You just can't wake up every day. It's the same thing. I'm on the grind. I'm on the grind. No, you got to get out the way. You got to duck some shit. You got to duck some shit sometime. Got to take them vacations, bro. That's the only, you know, you, you know a lot of times you see dudes like, man, nigga ain't never been locked up. Something ain't right. No, bro. You remember when he was taking all them vacations and going here with his white people and all that? That's how you get, that's how you stay out here. That's how you stay out here. I done stressed this video out, man. Hope y'all like the new name. Let me know how y'all like it. Uh, it's officially indicted to invite it. We got the t-shirts coming real soon. Indicted to invite it, man. Hope y'all like it. I'm looking forward to your comments. And don't forget, no amount is too small. Cash up upper left hand corner.